A small box for a small price point, it sounds about right to me. I'm Aaron Baker from PhoneDog.com and Motorola's Moto G is in the office with its $179 unlocked price point. Let's take a look in the full unboxing. Motorola is back at it with the Moto G, an incredibly inexpensive smartphone unlocked without a contract because when you look at it, both in the US and around the world, there are a lot of people that still don't own a smartphone and Motorola is doing everything they can to try and combat that. This thing is available for $179 unlocked without a contract, bringing smartphones to the masses and bringing a really nice smartphone, comparatively speaking, to a really affordable price point. You can't beat the specs and the price tier. You can't beat the specs that this device packs for $179 unlock. The G is here. Motorola was kind enough to send over a customized back plate and a flip shell as well. So we'll take a look at both of those in this unboxing of the Moto G. Thanks to them for sending this stuff over. Thanks to our partners at Best Buy Mobile too, because they give us phones that we give to you for free on the site at phonedog.com. So devices like the Moto X and like the Galaxy S4 and like the Note 3. Thanks to Best Buy Mobile for that. When you walk into Best Buy Mobile to get the G if they offer it or the X or the Galaxy S4, whatever the case may be, you'll walk out working. They'll get your email, your contacts, your web setup, all your personal settings. So when you walk out the door, you're working. Thanks to the boys in blue, as I like to call them. Hey, this is blue too. Boys in blue and girls in blue at Best Buy Mobile. So you can see the box here. Moto G features a curved design that's comfortable in your hand. Really a small box, kind of a cool little box here. Moto G Motorola on the front, green on the sides, and of course a bunch of legalese on the side that you're probably not going to read, but that's okay. You know what? Nothing wrong with that. Gmail Maps, actually maybe you should read it, but Gmail Maps, YouTube, Play Store, Chrome stuff down here and out of the box, here is the device itself. Now a quick rundown of te uh, tech specs, rather it's got tech specs. Need more coffee to say that without slurring my words. 1.2 gigahertz quad core Snapdragon 400 CPU. This thing has one gigabyte of RAM, eight gigabytes of internal storage, a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera. You got two years of 50 gigabyte storage for free on Google. And then of course you got, so that would total about 58 gigabytes on the standard model of this device. 2070 milliamp hour battery, 4.5 inch display. It's a 720p HD display. So just kind of recapping everything we just talked about. You got a 4.5 inch HD display. Yes, it's 720p, but still an HD display. Nonetheless, you've got a nice little rear facing camera as well. Let me pull the sticker off if I can get this. There we go. Whoop. Nice little rear facing camera as well. You've got a front facing shooter. You've got Android 4.3 on this device known as Jelly Bean, and a relatively clean vanilla version at that with some of the Motorola customizations that we've seen on the Moto X. So in terms of style here, take a look at the two and you can kind of see the differences. Both are curved, and I should say a black back is what comes by default with the Moto G, but design-wise very, very similar to the Moto X. Kind of hard to tell from a distance which one is which. You can tell by the ear grill here on the device and the front-facing camera on the G is on the left, whereas it's on the right with the X. And of course, there's an AT&T logo on this one. But in terms of design, both have the indented Motorola logo, both have the flash in the same place, speakers reversed. But other than that, very similar design on the Moto G. Again, bringing a really nice design, a really pocketable design to $179 price point. So recapping here, 180 bucks basically gets you this device, 4.5 inch 720p HD display. Only has one gigabyte of RAM, but still compare this to other devices that are in that price point, you know, blue devices, for example, this is a really nice value add here. You got a lot to like on this device. A relatively late version of Android, 4.3. The rear camera is five megapixels. You got a front facing shooter. You've got a 2070 milliamp hour battery, so a relatively large battery for $179. A lot to like on this device for the price points. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull off the battery cover here and you can see volume rocker and power button in the same spot on the G as it is on the X. And I need better fingernails to do this apparently. Let's go ahead and pry, 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 pry. And your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack is up top. And I wanna show you what the color shells look like on this device as well. So go ahead and pull the black one off and you can see battery is not user removable. Keep that in mind. Got your micro SIM card slot right here. And then of course you got no micro SD card slot, but internal storage available courtesy of Google. So that is what the blue looks like. So still some customizable back plates here to give this phone some color if you want it. And then of course the flip shell as well. So while that's powering up, we'll take a look at this as well. So really a nice price point. Again, I can't underscore it enough for what you get for 180 bucks. There's nothing quite on the market that matches this device, at least right now. Super style, your Moto G. I'm gonna go ahead and do that and pull out my flip case so you can see what it looks like. And of course, here is some plastic. I'm gonna remove that. And I just put that little battery cover on or else 
I would show you. We're going to start through this and move pretty quickly here. Accept and continue. Device seems to be pretty quick. I do have Google, but I'm going to lie and say I don't have Google. We're going to migrate later. And then I'll put myself at home right here. So again, 4.5 inch display, a little bit smaller than the Moto X. And you do see that if you've worked with the X or worked with a device around 4.7, 4.8, maybe even five inches, you do immediately see the difference. But again, this device is nice and fast. I'm not really seeing any lag. That's probably thanks to a near vanilla version of Android, but it still has those same Motorola features you may love. Stuff like Moto Assist, for example. You've got, of course, your Google integration here. You've got Motorola Migrate. You've got Translate. You've got Quick Office here out of the box as well. But really a nice speedy device. Your buttons are on the home screen, much like the Moto X. You've got back, home, and recent applications. Moto Assist is great. I love this application. We're going to hit next, and we're going to say, yes, I'm in. And you can do this for meeting and for sleeping on the Moto G. So for example, meeting, if you're in a meeting, it'll detect that, hey, at 11 o'clock, I've got a meeting. So go ahead and put, you know, put my phone on silent, for example. Sleeping, I can say, hey, from 11 to 6, get a good night's rest. I want my phone on silent unless my wife calls, my brother calls, my mom calls, etc. Choose your actions. And you can see right there, silence with the exception of a couple of very important people. Favorites, and when someone calls twice within five minutes, you can enable that as well. But Android 4.3 here, you've got, of course, typical notification area. I have an AT&T SIM card in this, but this is unlocked. Go ahead and remove that notification. It is an unlocked device, I should point out and it is without a contract. So settings here, taking a look just briefly through here, a couple of different things, Motorola privacy. So a very similar look and feel if you worked at all with the X, and I can't tell you how much these feel similar in the hand as well. The curve is very similar on both of these devices. Micro USB charging port, every button configuration and port and things like that are in essentially the same place, obviously with the exception of the speaker. Do see again a little bit of a tinier display. You do see that versus the Moto X and this one, the battery's dead I believe, so I can't power it on, but you know what, that's okay. We can go without the battery, but still kind of a similar look and feel here. You've got the stock Android keyboard, the vanilla Android keyboard here. And I'm always terrible at this, but you get the idea. And of course, connectivity, data connectivity as well. On the GSM model, you're packing GSM 850, 900, 1800, 1900 megahertz. And then you've got up to 21 megabits per second HSPA plus here. So no LTE on this device, but again, keeping in mind the price point, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's all about the price point here. This is not a device that's going to compete with the Note 3, the Galaxy S4, these high-end devices, the HTC One, One Max, etc. What this is for is for somebody that either A, you're a geek and you want a smartphone replacement, or maybe you're not even a geek. Maybe you're somebody like my mom that wants a smartphone replacement. She breaks her phone and she wants something for the weekends, or perhaps, you know, kind of a secondary backup device, or perhaps you're looking for your first time smartphone. Maybe it's on prepaid. You want a nice, decent smartphone with a later version of Android that's really customizable and really has a nice fit. There's a lot of use cases for the Moto G. I can see this working really well, not just in the US, but particularly around the world. Really a nice unlocked price point, and you get some great specs to boot. Love that 720p HD display for 180 bucks. Keep it locked on PhoneDog.com for more on the Moto G. We'll have the full first impressions, the video review coming up very soon, but in the meantime, I wanna see what you want to see covered. I wanna see what you wanna see covered. That sounds really funny when you say it out loud, but you get my point. What you want to see covered about the Moto G. I'm on Twitter at phone dog underscore Aaron. I'm on Facebook at facebook.com slash hire and baker. Hit me up with your questions on what you want to see covered on this $179 device that packs for its price point a lot of really cool features, including customization, very similar in a lot of ways to the Moto X. I'm on Twitter again at phone dog underscore Aaron. Would love to hear from you. And I'm sure at some point I've called this the Moto X in the video, so you have to forgive me. It is the Moto G. It is here. You can forgive me because they look really similar, comparatively speaking. Design-wise, very similar. Really nice price point over on the Moto G. Keep it locked on the site. I'm going to go put my flip shell on this device, and I'll be back very soon with full video reviews. So keep it locked on PhoneDog.com, and as always, I'll see you next time.